uh, welcome. We will be uh, continuing from our last session. So in this session, uh, we'll again go over the quadratic equation related uh, topic. So welcome again. Uh, the topic uh, is quadratic equation that we'll be covering up. So as part of this session, what I have planned is uh, we will cover two uh, major things like deriving a quadratic formula using uh, completing the square method and then we will use that uh, formula to solve uh, statement problems using quadratic equation. Uh, okay, let's move on. Now, uh, if you uh, consider the standard equation, uh, this uh, equation stands uh, like how we solved earlier uh, as an example ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0. So this is our standard equation. Uh, previous uh, sessions we have seen that uh, like uh, how some of the equation will not fall under uh, this uh, uh, polynomial uh, rule then uh, you will not consider that as a quadratic equation. So now to derive at the uh, quadratic formula uh, we will use the completing the square method. So uh, we'll start with uh, considering ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 uh, where a is uh, not equal to 0. Uh, dividing the equation uh, by a uh, since a is not equal to 0. So we are considering uh, to divide the equation by a. Uh, so that will come as x square plus b uh, by a x plus c by a uh, which is equal to 0. So this uh, division we did it on both the sides of the equation. So this is what we'll get once you divide it. So as a next step uh, you will see that x square plus b by a x is equal to minus c a. So we have moved c plus c by a to the other side of the equation. So when uh, as part of the third step, uh, what we have to do is we will be adding the same uh, quantity. Here what we are doing is uh, we will be adding up b by 2a whole square on both the sides of the equation. So that will not change the equation. Uh, uh, you know from the light left hand side compared to the R H S that is the right hand side. So it, it still remains equal. So now once you add uh, B by 2A whole square on both the sides of the equation uh, you can see uh, we'll get uh, uh, X square plus 2X B by 2A and then plus b by 2a whole square is equal to minus c a plus b by 2a whole square. So if you see that for x what I did is I have multiplied it by 2 by 2 which is nothing but 1. So that is the reason you will see that it's x square plus 2x into b by 2a. So 2x uh, and like a 2b, uh, 2a is uh, nothing but 2 by 2 multiplied to b by ax. So now uh, if you see the left hand side of the equation, it's like uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now if you uh, convert that into our standard a plus b whole square uh, equal to the right hand side which is minus c by a plus 
b by 2a whole square which is equal to c by a plus b square by 4a square now if you do the lcm and you try to come up uh, uh, by by finding the lcm and then uh, putting it in a simplified way we will get as b square minus 4ac by a uh, 4a square which is equal to x plus b by 2a whole square okay uh, now uh, as part of step 5 if you see here like b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then by taking the square root we get x plus b by 2a is equal to plus minus b square minus 4ac so root of uh, 4a square uh, i have written it as 2a because that root has gone because we had a perfect square under it so we got it as 2a now uh, you will get x equal to uh, since we have taken b by 2 on the other side of the equation and then when we uh, see like 2a is the uh, lcm and then if you uh, do by simplifying that you will get minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a so therefore x uh, whenever you have a perfect square uh, like you, you can use this uh, uh, formula for solving the quadratic equation so the root of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 r minus b plus root b square minus 4 a c by 2 a and minus b minus root b square minus 4 a c by 2 a uh, but if b square minus uh, 4ac is greater than 0 so only in this condition we will have uh, the uh, roots of the quadratic equation as uh, these two uh, as the enough in terms of formula so now if we have b square minus 4ac less than 0 then the equation will uh, have no real roots so thus if b square minus 4 ac is greater than or equal to 0 only then the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 will be uh, given or is written as minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a this formula for finding the root of quadratic equation is known as quadratic formula which we can directly use to solve some of the problems which we'll see in the our upcoming slides so now we'll try to uh, solve a statement problem using the quadratic equation uh, formula so say for example we have uh, an example where uh, the the real uh, numbers are there which uh, okay so uh, we have we have to find two consecutive positive uh, uh, odd integers sum of who square is 290 that's the statement given to us now let's see how we can uh, identify those uh, positive odd integers so let's start the solution uh, let us consider first uh, first positive odd integer as x and then as it says like uh, two consecutive positive odd integers sum of 
whose square is 290. So the integers, the consecutive integers will be uh, having a difference of 2. So if you are considering first uh, integer as x, then the next consecutive integer will be x plus 2. So considering that the sum of uh, x plus x plus 2 and their individual squares like x square plus x plus 2 whole square is equal to as given in the statement the sum of whose squares is 290. So x square plus x plus 2 which is the second integer whole square is equal to 290. So now this is how uh, we have uh, simplified or come up with the equation. So now when you expand that x square plus uh, x when I expand x plus 2 whole square that will be like uh, a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square which is coming as x square plus x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to 290. So now if I take the uh, 290 on the left hand side of the equation we will get 2x square plus 4x plus 286 where 4 is subtracted from 290. Now when you compare this uh, equation x square plus 2x minus 143 is equal to 0. Since 2 was a common factor we have removed it to the other side of the when we moved it to the other side of the equation we got the equation as x square plus 2x plus uh, 2x minus 143 is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation in x and if you see x square uh, a here is 1 so it is in the form of ax square plus uh, bx plus c is equal to 0 now in this equation we have to uh, find the value for x so we can use the formula as we have done in uh, from the previous uh, steps we have a formula available to find the value of x which is equal to minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a so we'll apply uh, the values like here uh, b is uh, 2 and uh, a is 1 and c is 143 so then we get when you apply it onto the formula x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root 2 square plus 4 into 143 by 2 so when you solve this uh, we'll get minus 2 plus or minus 5 uh, root 576 by 2 uh, so 576 root is uh, 24 so 24 square is 576 then we'll get a value like minus 2 plus or minus 24 by 2 so now if you consider plus 24 minus 2 then we'll get a value of 22 by 2 which is nothing but 11 so you will get x is equal to 11 or if you consider minus 2 minus 24 then it will be like 26 divided by 2 which is 13 so now we got two uh, roots for uh, the equation using the formula uh, which we have quadratic formula so that is x is equal to 11 or x is equal to minus 13 but since and the statement it has been mentioned like uh, we have positive odd integers so x cannot be a negative value therefore if x is equal to 11 is one integer then x plus 2 is equal to 11 plus 2 is equal to 13 will be the second integer so if you use both integers in the original equation x square plus x plus 2 whole square is equal to 29 then we can see like 
we get 11 square plus 13 square is equal to 121 plus 169 which is equal to 290. Therefore, we uh, simplified the quadratic equation and uh, found the value of x using the quadratic formula. Thank you for uh, being with us in this session. Please do not forget to subscribe the uh, channel. We'll come up with uh, more topics and other videos related to mathematics or any other sciences. Thank you. Happy learning.